I'm Nagla Gafar Rigo, class of 2004, Masters of Professional Writing. I was an international student from Egypt. The opportunity to come to UMass Dartmouth was a dream come true. I heard about the school from two friends of mine that came to UMass Dartmouth first. But for a girl from Egypt to, to leave the country and come live in the U.S., it took my mother three years to be convinced. I applied and I did get a teaching assistantship. I have to tell you, I packed my suitcase two months before. I had them right in front of me and my heart was beating so hard. I drove from Egypt straight to Boston and from there to Cedar Dell. <laughs> All I had was a hand-woven rug that I brought from Egypt. It follows me everywhere. It was scary at first, but it was meant to be. And I think it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I was always an A student. But my first class was rhetorical theory. I left the class feeling that I could fail. And that was a very scary thought. I felt, what do I know about the system? What do I know about education in the United States? But w within that classroom, my background was not a disadvantage. One of the best things that my professor did with me is allowing me to add to the mix. They said, bring what you have and enrich the environment that you're in. The sky is actually the limit. With that kind of freedom, you really get the courage to work on yourself and see you're valuable, you're appreciated and that's what really matters. The whole idea of being part of a team was pretty much at the core of the UMass Dartmouth experience. I started out as a teaching assistant, then I worked in the advising center, and then started working as a tutor in the writing center. Amy Parliament and Noreen Cleffey at the writing center had a great understanding of how to create an environment that's welcoming to students and feel that asking for help is not really a bad thing at all. The complete opposite, it's the smart thing to do. I got to see a lot of people like myself coming in asking for help and they were very nurturing. This became part of me. When I worked as the coordinator of the Student Success Center at the Community College of Rhode Island, I had to establish a resource center. The first thing that I did, I came running to Amy. I took the same model and ran it at the Community College of Rhode Island. Within a year, probably less, we had huge traffic. That's a great testament to the Writing Center and the whole UMass Dartmouth experience in particular, how well they knew what they were doing. What UMass Dartmouth did for me is give me the, the opportunity to focus on what I need to do in order to come from a diamond in the rough to a polished diamond. The faculty, staff, the students that I worked with had a little to do with giving this strokes and stroke after stroke I started feeling like I'm shining inside. I came here to find myself and Thank goodness, I think I did. It did change my life. I met my husband, Victor, here. He was an engineering student. And having our daughter on campus, it definitely became a family. I try to be an ambassador for the school wherever I go. Because for a 27-year-old Egyptian coming to the US, terrified, without their support, I would have not been able to, to feel that this is home. Being an alum of UMass Dartmouth means pride, absolute pride. 